Hi. I think that Evan guy is really dumb for not seeing how great you are. You want to hear the new song I've been working on? I don't know if I'm in the mood to listen. Please? Okay. Kat Valentine and Robbie Shapiro are the strangest couple in Victorious, mainly because they aren't exactly a couple. There are many hints throughout the show that suggest that Robbie has feelings for Kat, but Kat doesn't share these feelings for Robbie. At least not at first. After re-watching a bunch of Victorious episodes, I think it's safe to say that, in a stunning display of realism, Kat's feelings for Robbie actually develop over time. Unfortunately, we never see her completely come out of her denial for these feelings, but the evidence of her feelings is there nonetheless. The biggest reason why Kat may not have fallen for Robbie right away might have something to do with his inappropriate behavior. I don't see why we can't just pretend to be pirates. I'll play pirates with you. No, I don't like how you play pirates. I'm so upset. Did you try to play pirates with her? No. Bobby, I'm bored. I don't want to play anymore. All right, well, do you want to play something else? Like what? Arr! No! <laughs> hey, look at, look at what I got. No, I don't want to see that thing again. Put it away. Despite that, the two enjoy playing baby golf and singing songs together. And, uh, fun fact, they're the only couple in the series that we see half-naked together. How are we gonna get home? I don't know. Well, we can't walk six blocks in our underwear. Yeah, no kidding. What are we gonna do? We could stay back here and snoodle. <laughs> Gross. You cannot convince me this show's for kids. So, what's going on? What caused a ruckus of confusing romance in the complicated relationship between Kat and Robbie? Let's take a look. There's not enough people with originality, so here I am to save the day, Janiac. Well, Robbie texted me last night saying he wants to talk to me, and I know he's going to ask me to be his date. Gross. Don't say gross, I like Robbie. So, go to the dance with him. No, gross. Hey, hey, hey. You don't have to keep running away from me. I already asked Gabriella to be my date to the Cow Wow. <laughs> well, yay. You got yourself a pretty girl to take to the Cow Wow. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to let you know you don't have to run away from me anymore. <laughs> Thanks, Robbie. <laughs> In the past, Kat has been shown flirting to get what she wants. Hey, Sinjin! Yes? Do you have a girlfriend? No. You have a credit card? Yeah. Why don't you call me sometime? What flavor do you like? <gasps> you pick for me! <laughs> Sometimes even going so far as to create an elaborate scheme just to get close to a guy she likes. Hi there! School just ended and I reserved this room so I could work on a study project. But I have a secret. I don't have a study project. <laughs> I'm going to record one of my videos where I interview a cute guy and I know what you're thinking. Where's the cute guy, Kat? Give me two seconds. And she's had a few boys in her room. It's no secret that Kat Valentine is either a pretty lusty gal or just very comfortable with the opposite sex. But unlike the other boys, Kat pays very little mind to Robbie romantically. She sees him as a close friend that she can have fun with. It isn't until after Robbie asks her to the prom in Prom Wrecker that Kat seems to start noticing Robbie's feelings for her. Even though the two had kissed before, she didn't love as me. It was a stage kiss. She was acting. She didn't feel the kiss. A girl can't fake that kind of heat. I don't care if she tells me a thousand times that it didn't mean anything. Because... See? The first time we see Kat sincerely kiss Robbie, on the cheek that is, is in A Christmas Story after Robbie gives her the best secret Santa gift. It isn't until Robbie confesses his love for Kat in his song, I Think Her Swell, from the episode The Blonde Squad, that things start to make sense to Kat. 
she begins to notice that she may very well have feelings for him too. But she's still in denial, as seen in The Hambone King, where she kisses Robbie on the cheek for the second time, shortly after saying that she doesn't want to be his girl. Even though Kat says she's not interested in Robbie romantically, the moment Robbie seems to lose interest in Kat in 1000 Berry Balls, she's quick to try and win his affection back, which can be interpreted in different ways. Either Kat genuinely has feelings for Robbie, or she just likes the attention he gives her and doesn't want him pursuing anyone else. I thought you told Robbie you didn't want to be his date tonight. No, that doesn't make it okay for him to bring another girl. So you don't want to be Robbie's date. And you don't want Robbie to bring another date. Yes. Looks like Kat's keeping her options open. Later in the same episode, Robbie and Kat finally share their first real on-screen kiss, and Kat runs away, probably because she's still unsure of how to feel about Robbie. In her eyes, he's only ever been her geeky and moderately inappropriate friend. Maybe she's concerned about how he'd behave in a relationship. Would his perverted behavior become problematic? Or maybe it's just how he looks. Kat definitely has a type, and Robbie looks nothing like it. Then again, she could also be trying to preserve their great friendship. Look, Robbie's one of my best friends. It'll be weird if I'm his date to a dance. Well, think fast, because here he comes. Either way, one thing's for certain. Kat's jealousy is on full display when Sam flirts with Robbie in the Sam and Cat episode, The Killer Tuna Fish. But fortunately, she promises to hang out with Robbie at the end of the episode. Uh, these, these aren't mine. Okay, they are mine, but I, I only made them because then... <laughs> Robbie's affection for Kat didn't seem to be there immediately. In fact, I think what brought on his initial feelings for her was the kiss in the third episode, Stage Fighting. In it, Robbie becomes uncomfortably obsessed with Trina after a stage kiss, but after Kat kisses Robbie, he suddenly has a change of heart. Unfortunately, Robbie doesn't know the appropriate way to handle his emotions, like, at all. Because of this, he has a tendency to come off as a bit of a white knight. When he sees how I really look, he's gonna be disappointed and that I- doesn't! Katarina Valentine, I will not sit here anymore and listen to you talk bad about yourself. Any guy would be lucky as cheese to go out with you. Thanks, Robbie. That's really sweet, but you don't know how guys think. Or more egregiously, a total creep. On the slap, he makes unsuccessful passes at Kat, the funniest of which being this post, which reads, I kind of have a crush on a cute little redhead whose name rhymes with splat. If only she knew. To which Kat responds with, Aw, I'll let Pat know. In Prom Wrecker, when Kat says she already has a date to the prom, not only does Robbie accuse her of lying, he gets visibly angry at her, almost as if she owes him. Again, Robbie acting inappropriate towards Kat. Which brings us to what I'm sure many of you have been waiting for, playing pirates. Let's take a look at those clips again. I don't see why we can't just pretend to be pirates. I'll play pirates with you. No, I don't like how you play pirates. I'm so upset. Did you try to play pirates with her? No. Bobby, I'm bored. I don't want to play anymore. All right, well, do you want to play something else? Like what? Arr! No! <laughs> Based on Kat and Jade's reaction, we know that Robbie's idea of playing pirates involves doing something that upsets and may have traumatized Kat. Robbie's the one that puts on the eye patch, so maybe he was the pirate and she was his booty? Eh? Eh? No, but seriously, playing pirates could involve Robbie using the game's rules as an excuse to touch Kat inappropriately, or make her do something she doesn't want to do. Or maybe he just plays too aggressively. Any of these would also explain why Kat doesn't want to fall for him. If he's done something to traumatize her, he's lucky she even still wants to be friends. Bad enough Kat has a traumatic home life, as mentioned in my Kat Valentine analysis, links down below. The last thing Kat needs is someone traumatizing her at school. 
Maybe Kat only puts up with Robbie because she genuinely doesn't know that what he's doing to her is bad, assuming she also gets that at home. Just a thought. Despite all of this, I'm convinced that Robbie's feelings for Kat, though they may have started as infatuation, slowly become genuine love. Robbie knew Kat well enough to know what she'd want for Christmas. And come on, have you read the lyrics to I Think You're Swell? He obviously loves Kat. But then he sang the song to Sam Puckett in Sam and Cat. So maybe Robbie just sings to any girl. And after Sam admits that she was only using him to make Cat jealous, he's happy about it. Weird. Cat Valentine and Robbie Shapiro have an odd relationship to say the least. The show hints at their feelings for each other, but never fully explores them. So what do you think? Do you think that Cat and Robbie are a good couple or a bad couple? I haven't spoken about Cat Valentine for almost a year now. How fitting that tomorrow is Valentine's Day. I know it's early, but happy Valentine's Day. Tomorrow I'll put out a voting poll for which Victorious Analysis video you want next. The new Junior and Marcus Talk podcast is finally out. You can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or pretty much anywhere you find your podcasts. Follow me on Spotify, follow me on Instagram, and follow me on Twitter. Just, just do it now. If you're already subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to my backup channel, Janiac Tunier, in case anything bad happens to this channel. There's brand new merchandise in my shop, so please take a look at it. If you have any ideas for merchandise, let me know in the comments down below. The links to everything I just listed are in the description box below. Until then, I'll leave you with this. If you pick me for your new show, I promise I'll conduct myself with integrity, honor, and I'll get two new pop machines for the cafeteria. Oh, I just mixed up the two speeches. Can we start over? <laughs>